What is the crack, lads and ladies around the feckin' world? My name is DV Geek, and today we're gonna be checking out another Xbox exclusive title, or should I say, franchise at this point, known as Ori. Now, recently, the sequel to Ori and the Blind Forest, known as Ori and the Will of the Wisps, has been recently released, and I'm hearing nothing but great things and positive praise about this sequel. Now, before in the past when Ori and the Blind Forest was released, I heard nothing but amazing things about that. This is a game that's somewhat of a platformer, side-scrolling type game, and honestly, it's on a different level. It looks beautiful, it looks glorious from anything that I've seen before, but it's not something that I actually got my hands on because, well, it was an Xbox exclusive, but as you know, recently, I have purchased an Xbox and I've been loving the Xbox exclusive titles. One known as Halo, as you all know, here on the channel. And this is one that had definitely caught my interest. And considering a lot of you guys at home kept commenting Ori and wanting to see me play through these games, I decided, you know what, I need to check out some of the Ori stuff. And that's exactly what I'm going to be doing in this video. So a huge shout out to my dude. Mark, who sent me a list of the Ori trailers that had been released for both the Blind Forest and the Will of the Wisps. So we're going to be checking out every trailer has been released for this Ori franchise. And then after that, if this video gets a lot of thumbs up from you guys at home, then I most likely will play through these games and do a playthrough of them to give my honest opinions on these games. Because honestly, anything that I have seen had definitely took my breath away on just how stunning it visually looks. So today we're going to be delving into some trailers and I'm excited for this. And I hope you guys are excited as well, so make sure you smash that like button to show your support. And if you enjoy this trailer reaction, make sure you leave a subscribe as well and turn on notification bells as a playthrough will most definitely be on the way in the coming weeks. Anyway, that being said, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls around the feckin' world, let us check out every trailer that has been released for Ori. Here we go. Alright lads, as you can see, we have seven trailers to check out from both of the titles, starting with Ori and the Blind Forest trailer. Let's check this out. So which character is Ori? Is it the little guy or the big guy? I'm guessing the little guy. So I believe that is the character you control in the game. Visually, straight away, amazing. It's just stunning. Okay. Here comes our antagonist. Moon Studios. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Look at this shit, man! That is stunning! It's gorgeous. Feckin' love it, man. Oh, is big guy not well? Or is he just sleeping? Wait, 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 why isn't he waking up? No. Did he die? Look at that. Uh, wow. Ori and the Blind Forest. Wow. Do not underestimate the Xbox exclusives, that's all I'm saying. Alright, so next up we have Ori and the Blind Forest Accolades trailer. Let's check this out. One of the highest rated games of the new generation. A cinematic marvel, 9 out of 10, wow. Consider this a new classic. Jaw dropping, eye poppingly gorgeous. Well, none of these critics are wrong. It looks beautiful. How it plays, I don't know. But that's for me to find out very, very soon. Oh, 
Okay, so is there puzzles and stuff in it as well? Because I'd really enjoy that. I mean, I love platforming. Oh my god! The lights and everything in it, it's just... It is something else, isn't it? Oh wow! This must be near endgame. So are you essentially trying to escape the forest? Wow! Braving the elements as this little guy. Ori and the blind forest. And that music as well? Really complements it perfectly. Okay, so now we're going to check out the Definitive Edition trailer. Already blown away by these trailers, man. I've seen, I've seen some of this stuff from E3 in the past. And it did, in fact, catch my interest. But like I said, never owned an Xbox. But now that's not an excuse. So one of the best games of the year. What a statement to make. A must-have experience. I do feel like what that's essentially what this game is. It's not just a game, it's an experience. And I like the games like Journey and Abzu. You know, that, those kind of games, it's more so a visual experience. Oh, it's just so beautiful. Naru's past. Is that the name of the big guy? Wow, okay. Full backtracking support. Okay, so this is this is the extra content in the definitive edition. The Blind Forest Definitive Edition. <laughs> I'm getting excited now because I think it's inevitable at this stage. I think I have to play this game. Like, I genuinely think I have to. I have to experience this. I, I have to experience, you know, the reason why this game is so critically acclaimed and so many people love it. Ori and the Will of the Wisps. This is E3 2017. This is three years ago. This is the announcement for the sequel, uh, which I'm sure a lot of people have been asking for, you know, due to popular demand and considering the success of its predecessor. We'll have to see what the sequel has to offer. And this is a 4K trailer as well, so it's going to look even more beautiful. Whoa. I think I need to upgrade my my damn capture card. Whoa! Oh, spiders! Oh no, I draw the line at spiders, dude. Is that the forest? That's what it looks like now? Who's the little owl? Oh. Oh, this is so sad. Oh, there he is. Ah, lads. I'm getting emotional just looking at this trailer. That music is, is literally sending chills up my spine. 
Ori and the Will of the Wisps. A new journey begins. God damn. If I was standing in that E3 building, this is the trailer that they showed. I probably would have been standing clapping. You know, especially if it's someone that has, has played the original game. You know, the Blind Forest and had experienced that and loved it. Could you imagine seeing this? Oh, I can't wait to experience this game now. I genuinely can't. It was already announced in 2017, but there was more trailers released in 2018. So... Just goes to show how long people have been waiting for this. Oh, what a little owl. So that's Naru and Ori. What's the little owl's name? Oh, he's gonna learn how to fly. Oh, that's so cute. Whoa, who's the creepy guy with the long arms and legs? <laughs> Whoa. Please tell me you can fly with the owl. Please tell me you can do that in the game. Oh shit, new enemies. New challenges. New abilities? Whoa! Oh my god, okay. This 4K trailer is fucking unreal. My boy got bow and arrow, what? Actually, I cannot assume he's gender. Is it a boy or a girl? Or is it like an Undertale scenario? You just kind of choose his gender. Oh, is this the new antagonist? Uh, what the freak is he? Oh, it's stunning. It's even more stunning than his predecessor. It's beautiful. Ori and the will of the wisps. Just have to clap at the trailers. They're... They're on, a, they're on that level of just pure and utter epicness. It's, it's just a work of art. I think that's essentially what this franchise is. You know, the funny thing is, right? I work in GameStop, um, for a lot of you that may not know that. And, you know, this game had recently released and we got some copies in. Not a whole lot, because I don't think this game is very popular over here in Ireland. Um... But I seen the collector's edition and it looked so beautiful. Um, the artwork on it just looked so nice. And I was like, I heard so much about this series. And it only, it only hit me there like recently. I was like, Jesus, this game is actually very, very popular. I want to know why. And now here I am watching the trailers and hoping and wishing that collector's edition was mine. <laughs> All right. So we have another E3 2019 trailer. My God, there's a lot of teasing going on with this for the last for those three years. Um, so let's check out the 2019 E3 trailer. All right, here we go. Oh, spiders again. There's a the little guy. What is that? Oh, it's a giant spider. Oh, little Lori, get out of there. Oh. Look at these boss fights! What the heck is that supposed to be?
Oh, look! It's so pretty. It's so damn pretty. Okay, so our final trailer is Ori and the Will of the Wisps gameplay trailer. Let's see what the gameplay has to offer for us on our future Xbox endeavors. Oh, look at him using the feather as a little parachute! Oh no! The whole game, it, it really is just so pretty. So it seems that there's a lot of fast-paced, side-scrolling action that goes on in the game. There is genuine, genuine boss fights. It seems that the second game is far more challenging than the first. That's just my opinions from seeing these trailers, but... They could be equally as challenging. I don't know if there's different difficulty settings and stuff. But I can tell you one thing. The Ori franchise is fucking beautiful. Alright lads and ladies around the world. That was Ori and the Blind Forest and Ori and the Will of the Wisps trailers. That have been released over the course of a few years now. Um, since 2014. So over six years ago now. And to see the immense detail that's put into this game on a visual standpoint, it is truly something else to look at. I mean, I love games that are beautiful, okay? You know, it, you know, gameplay isn't everything. When it comes to the genuine visual aesthetics of a game, when it's at this, this caliber, you just can't help but kind of stand back and be taken away by it. And I think this game delivers more than just that. It delivers the gameplay, the side-scrolling action that we like. Um, side-scrolling games are games that I grew up playing. Let's face it, you know, the the golden era of games were side-scrollers. You know, Super Mario, Sonic the Hedgehog. And it's nice to see how far that genre of video game has come over the course of so many years. And to see a game that looks this freaking good... It gets me excited because I know it now. It is, in fact, inevitable. I do, in fact, have to play through these games because I want to know why people love them so much. And to be honest, from just watching these trailers alone, I kind of have already got an idea why people love this game so much. Because it looks beautiful. Like, it's so gosh damn nice to look at. It's so pretty. The colors, the lighting, the characters, the backgrounds... Everything, the music, it really is an experience to look at. So, expect videos on this. I will not be streaming these live. I feel like this is a game that you really, truly need to immerse yourself into. Especially how it looks and the story elements of it as well. So I will be doing long recordings of this game to get it out there for you guys next week. We're going to be starting off with the Blind Forest and then the following week we will do the Will of the wisps so i hope you ori fans out there are pretty excited for a fresh new perspective of somebody playing this game especially somebody that never actually got a chance to play this game because they never owned an xbox as i've said before i am a playstation guy and i've been playing playstation for many many years and it's only up until recently i started to check out some of the xbox franchises and this is one of those franchises that is still very new to the gaming world but still quite beloved as of right now. So I mean, I'm, I'm, I know for a fact I'm going to enjoy these games. And I know that the story is going to be super emotional. So expect some tears. Expect some Irish tears. Because they're coming. They're, they're definitely coming. I think it's inevitable. I am going to be playing this game. But anyway, that does end this video. I hope you lads and ladies out there enjoyed. If you did, smash that like button. I'd greatly appreciate it. And of course, do not hesitate to subscribe to the channel if you want to see more Ori content from me in the very near 
future. And for more Xbox exclusive streams and stuff like that regarding Halo and stuff, go follow me on Twitch, twitch.tv slash dbgeek, and you can just join me there as I play through some awesome games as well. Anyway, thank you so much for watching, dudes, and as always, stay geeky, stay cool, be awesome, and be happy, and I'll see you lads in my next video. See you later, dudes!